guy, it's Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is an RGB split or 3D if you like kind of tutorial in Photoshop. Uh, if you take a look at this image here, we're kind of going for the look like as if you go into the cinema and you can't afford the glasses that they give you for a 3D screening. Oh, 3D screening. Yeah, you notice that if you don't have your glasses on when you're watching anything 3D, uh, you kind of see that red, green and the blue tints. Uh, red, green, blue is what RGB stands for. Uh, just in case you didn't know, but this is how to kind of do this in Photoshop. I notice it's kind of becoming quite. It's been quite been used a few times. I've seen it about um, specifically on like some videos, uh, but today's on how to do this in Photoshop. Uh, so we're just going to go. In fact, we're not going to go to File New. I'm just going to delete these top two layers, and this is the image. This is the image raw. There's been nothing added to this, so this is what we're going to be working with. You can obviously use any Im image. It wouldn't matter at all. Uh, maybe it would, but you know. Just try that with an image, and uh, let's crack on. So first things first, we want to duplicate this initial layer. So you can either do this by dragging it down into the new layer icon, icon or you can just hit Control J. It is up to you. Now on this new layer, double click it, or right click blending options, and just under the default, you want to un under channels and advanced blending, untick the R. Nothing happens as you see. But if you go, make sure you're on the move tool and use either arrow, left or right, on your keyboard and start moving it. And you'll see, just say, come more drastic here. You can see that it's kind of really standing out and the red channel is being shifted over. And um, that is that. That's the first part. And that's basically it. Just kind of don't want it to be as heavy as that, as harsh. Uh, so we're going for something like that, maybe a bit less. Nah, something like that. That's looking good. And then duplicate that layer again. And then go to this layer. And you want to double click it, tick red, and I'd like to untick green, and then move it over to the other side, for example. So you've got kind of the, each different color is on the different sides. And now this is basically how to do this. Um, it kind of gives it an original effect. It, you probably, if you see this picture, you probably wouldn't be able to put your finger on it, except for maybe these little stumps here. You know, maybe they're a bit, they're a bit kind of harsh and they stand out a bit too much. You know, just so you didn't have them or you content aware filled them out in Photoshop CS5, you know, uh, you probably wouldn't notice it on the background pictures. However, it kind of gives a nice effect, especially to like this kind of log here. Well, maybe now I've got an actual pixel, it is quite obvious. But nevertheless, it does, it does give it quite a good effect. Uh, maybe what you could do is even tone down the opacity, you know, maybe just so it blends a little bit more. Um, like so. So that could be a good photography technique, it could probably be original. And, um,. That is it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. That's how to create kind of RGB 3D looking images in Photoshop. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon.